my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my thoughts keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis and today we have Remy Cabea of Montpellier. Now this guy is very cheap, he's only 12k on the Xbox 360, 18k on the PlayStation 3 and he's got 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. I mean, that is sensational for the price having that kind of skill moves, that kind of weak foot, 4 star and 4 star. There's not many people on this game that do have that and the people that normally do, normally go for a higher price than this Inform and you can see his in-game stats right there, his ball control, his curve, his dribble and finishing all very high but in game it just doesn't seem right his finishing is very very poor that comes down maybe to his long shots maybe to his shot power it's not the best in the world he's got high to medium work rates and he's got worse strength than Neymar I didn't think that was possible the last review I did was inform Neymar and this guy has worse strength and honestly that affects him so much because it doesn't matter about his balance or his agility because that was what was high with Neymar and it let him off the hook but with Kabea being in a kind of lesser player a worse player 10 times worse player obviously than Neymar it just it doesn't work and he does come off very bad for it he does have these kind of good runs like you see here where I get past two players and have the low effort but it just doesn't happen often enough and this card I mean I don't know there was something missing all along the way I had to change formations and you seen the formation at the start was a 4-5-1 that formation just did not sit right with me and with Kabir it just uh, it was just so fucking annoying. I changed it to a 4 1 2 1 2, and Kabir did come more into the game. You can see with this nice little skill run here, bad defending from our opponent, but it is a great finish after a great little run from Remy Kabir before he goes into the Gangnam style. I love that celebration. But, anyways, we've got these pros. We've got passing, his link up play, his movement, and his price because his price is 12k on the Xbox 360. Roughly 80k on the PlayStation 3. That is a bloody bargain for any inform, and you can pick them up and sell them for the same price, basically. So you can go out, you can test him. He's not going to be the kind of player you take a huge loss on. Maybe his price will drop by about 1k on each console, maybe even more on the PlayStation 3 because quite high at the moment. His cons then are his strength and his ball control. His strength, like you see, he's weaker than Neymar, which is absolutely ridiculous. And his ball control, even though it said in his in game stats that it was sensational. It just doesn't work. His ball control is woeful. He does get involved in a lot of goals. That's why I've given him a 3 out of 5 star. Because if he didn't get involved and he was kind of like a ghost basically. Not in the game. Rarely seen. He was kind of just drifting by. But no, his movement is good. He does get involved. He links up the play. He's involved in all of the goals. And that is the only reason he gets a 3 out of 5 star rating. And what an effort that is to finish up. I hope you enjoyed this review. Drop a like if you did lads and I'll catch you all later.